a sheet metal fabricator's job shop. Um, most of what we do here is uh, water jet cutting, laser cutting, and punch press work, but we also form and fabricate with welding. We've got quite a, a large weld shop. Well, as far as productivity goes, our main benefit is uh, running at a faster speed rate. We're able to get uh, more production through in one day. Uh, we've had a shift reduction because, because we're able to get more, more work through the machine itself in, in less time. Uh, the new pump, since it's increased the feed rate, there are some, especially in the thicker aluminum, where the, the laser and the water jet are, are right about equal. So the water jet's cheaper to run than the laser, so that has moved some work over there based on the increased feed rate. Thicker tool steel, um, over one inch tool steel, which is pretty hard. Uh, we cannot cut that on the laser at all. Uh, that would be one reason why it's over here, because the because of the, the heat treatable material, the laser will harden the surfaces that we need to machine afterwards. So the water jet doesn't affect, affect the, uh, doesn't have a heat affected zone, doesn't uh, temper, mess with the temper of the material. So that would be one benefit of bringing it in over to the water jet. Um, the water jet also doesn't create any fumes. So as we're running some plastics over here, I know there are some lasers that, that could run that plastic, but uh, the water jets are much safer health-wise, environmentally. We're cutting at 0.85 inches a minute, 0.9 inches easily. This is a fine edge that I'm going for right now. High quality cut. This is a paintable cut. This is very smooth. This doesn't need to be deeper. And 1.0 inches is possible. This is A36 plate steel. One inch. And it used to be with 60,000 PSI. We were fortunate to be cutting at half an inch a minute. It was practically impossible to expect anything fast. This in particular has set it up almost 20 minutes for parts. So it was definitely worth it with this 90K. And we have seen on one inch, we've seen 1.2 thousand tolerant held over an entire job, which was 10 parts. Engineers, people, the OEMs are more aware of the water jets. I mean, they've been around for a while, but they're becoming, they're starting to actually design for, for cutting on the water jet. I've actually seen on our drawings that we get from our customers say water jet only. Um, so there is, there is more market coming for the water jet cutting. Um, from my experience, if we had to choose just one machine to have in the shop, um, if you didn't, if you weren't taking certain production interest into into in the mind, then the water jet would cover everything. Um, the laser does something a little bit faster, but uh, they're also far more expensive and they're more expensive to run. So if you had to just choose one machine, the water jet could cover everything that we do.